Hey guys, it's Johnny with MobileTechVideos.com with another how-to video. Today I'm going to teach you how to route your AT&T version of your Samsung Galaxy S2, also known as the SGS2. Let's jump in, take a look at the settings, and I will show you that this is still on the Samsung and the gingerbread kernel. So this is completely stock, the way you'd pull out of a box. This could be very, very simple to do. The very first thing you need to do on your phone is go back into your settings here, and we need to go into the applications, and go ahead, go to development, and make sure you have USB debugging turned on. All right. Next thing we gotta do from there is actually on the computer, we're gonna jump on and download a few files here. So let's jump on take a look. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go to the XDA developers or you can do Google search, but you do need to get yourself Odin version 3, 1.82. Odin's gonna be what we use to go ahead and flash the new kernel. Uh, the other thing that you need to get from there is the actual kernel itself. We are gonna use the Zetomax kernel. Um, just go ahead, download those, put those on your desktop, and then we will be ready to go here in a few seconds. Okay guys, once you have those files downloaded, we then need to get your phone into um, download. The first one is the one that we recommend here at Mobile Tech Videos. That is called a jig. You can find that on our website in our e-store. That's mobiletechvideos.com. That is the simplest, easiest way to do it. That is the method that I will be doing. Um, the other way is gonna be the ABC method. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll show you both ways how you can do it and you will see how valuable that tool is to you. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to power off the device completely. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to shut down. The next step after Paul, uh, that was step A. Step B is once it is powered off, Go ahead and hold your volume down button and plug in your USB. You'll then get to this warning screen. Um, it's telling you a custom OS can cause critical problems in the phone and installed applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key. Otherwise, press volume down to cancel. We're gonna go ahead and press volume up. This is your downloading screen. As you can see up at the top here, it's going to say your product name. Custom binary download, right now it says no because it's stock. The Samsung Captivate, I'm sorry, the Galaxy S2 keeps track of how many times that you flash different stuff, unlike the Captivate, which did not do that. Um, it'll also tell you your current binary, which is actually your software that you're running, your ROM. So right now I'm at the Samsung official. Okay, let's take a look at how to use the jig. All right, guys, this method to get into download mode, again, is going to be using our jig. Very, very simple. All you do, so easy, a baby could do it. We do a video of that, is just go ahead, plug the jig right in, and it automatically does it for you. All right, once you have your phone into download mode, um, depending on which way you chose to do it, either ABC or using the jig, you can then go ahead and unplug your USB or the jig. From there, we're gonna go ahead and open up Odin 3 version uh, 1.82. This is what it should look like. Um, at that point, with your phone still in download mode, you are then going to plug your phone into your computer. And then you should see a yellow box pop up. Right there, see that yellow box? That's telling you that that is connected and it reads it. Um, also, make sure that you have your Samsung drivers installed, otherwise this won't work. That's pretty basic stuff. Uh, you need it to use keys and everything like that. So get that driver first. Uh, if that yellow box isn't popping up, it's gonna be because you don't have the Samsung drivers installed. Next thing we wanna do, this is our second file that we installed. Um, you're gonna click on PDA button right there and you're gonna go ahead and find where that file is and you're gonna highlight it 
Um, it may be in a zip file, that's fine. Doesn't matter. It'll automatically tell what it is because it's a .tar file, T-A-R. All you do from there, go ahead and click start. And then you will see a green button go across and right here the blue bar in your phone then resets. It shouldn't take more than a minute. You can verify that it worked by the pass up here on your computer. Now let's go ahead and take a look back at the phone. Alright guys, once it's done rooting through the process, it, the phone should automatically go ahead and restart like you're seeing now. Um, good indication that it worked is you're going to see this little Android logo pop up that wasn't there before. Um, that's a great way to tell that it worked. Now, the thing with the Zito Max kernel is all it's doing is rooting your phone, changing the kernel out. It's not changing the look or feel. It's not a ROM. So it's going to have that exact same stock look here. If you go into the settings of the phone, and we go down to About Phone, you will see that the kernel is now the Zito Max stock kernel. Uh, we are still on the same baseband version and Android version. Um, if you go ahead and go into your applications, you can scroll all the way over, you're going to see the super users there. That is a 100% verification that your phone is rooted. You can't have this without being rooted. Um, so yeah, now from there, you know, you'll be able to get yourself into Clockwork Recovery Mod, which you're going to be able to need to do to, you know, flash a ROM onto your phone and everything like that. So you're now able to start flashing ROMs onto your, uh, your SGS2 for AT&T. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check us out at MobileTechVideos.com. Again, that is where you can buy the download jig for only $8. Um, really good deal. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the next video.